Hey guys, welcome to Juicy Tea, where I read out the best stories on Reddit so you don't have to. The funny, shocking, and satisfyingly juicy. Am I the a-hole for having sex with another person after my wife wanted to open up our marriage? Posted by Soggy Ride 1913. Hey guys, so my wife, 30 female, and I, 33 male, have been married for about 8 years now. We've had a fair few ups and downs during our marriage. Five years ago, I found out that my wife cheated on me with a man she met on Tinder. After she was caught, she admitted that they'd hooked up three times. At first, I was shocked and wanted a divorce because cheating is a no-go for me. However, she told me how sorry she was and that she only loves me and that she was really trying her best to show me that I can trust her again. And I did. Now, let me introduce you to my wife's best friend, Chris. 31 male. They've known each other for 15 years and whenever we have issues, she always runs to him to talk. Chris is single. He's had a few relationships, but they've never lasted that long. I know he has feelings for my wife. He's always telling me that he wants a girlfriend that's just like my wife and keeps telling her that I don't deserve her. I never really thought about it because in my head, Chris is kind of a bootlicker and I never thought that he'd have any chance with my wife. Fast forward 6 months ago, we again had our ups and downs and my wife shocked me with the suggestion of opening up our marriage. I was shocked and immediately told her that I don't want that. At this point we hadn't had sex for like 8 months or so, she was never in the mood. And after trying many times to have sex with her, I just kind of stopped because I didn't want to push her. I love sex and being sexless for 8 months made me really unhappy. So, the more I thought about her suggestion, the more I wanted to try it out. So, I agreed. She was baffled at first, but in the end, we both agreed and made up some rules. 1. No feelings, either from us or from the person we have sex with. 2. No sex in our apartment. 3. We tell each other when we have sex with someone else. 4. We always use protection. I have a coworker, 28 female, let's call her Sarah. She's a very flirtatious girl, and I always thought she was kind of into me. One night, after our shift ended, we walked to the bus stop together, and I told her about the open marriage thing. She was immediately all ears and very interested. She joked that if I wanted to shoot my shot, I can always ask her. So, I did. I told her about the rules and the feelings thing. She made it very clear that she finds me sexually attractive, but that's it. There are no feelings. The next day, I talked to my wife about the coworker, and she told me I can go for it. So, a few days later, I went to Sarah's place and we had sex. It felt good, but it wasn't the same feeling as having sex with my wife. The next few days, my wife went really quiet and we didn't talk at all. I knew something was wrong, so I confronted her. I thought maybe it was because of me having sex with Sarah. Oh boy, was I wrong. She told me that she'd slept with Chris. After hearing this, I screamed at her and we got into a huge fight. Not only did she break the rule about telling me when she'd had sex with someone else, but she also broke the first rule about the feelings. Her excuse was that we never made it clear when we should tell each other that we'd had sex with someone else, before it happened or afterwards. But what really tipped me off was that she was trying to convince me that Chris had no feelings for her. In her eyes, I was overreacting way too much. I haven't talked to her for like two days now and I'm staying at a friend's house at the moment. In my head, I keep thinking that Chris is somehow manipulating her so that she separates from me. So am I the a-hole? Edit. Seems like I'm the bootlicker myself. Oh the irony. Update. Thanks for all the harsh comments calling me an idiot, a doormat, etc. It really made me realise what an effing loser I am. My best friend and I came to the conclusion that she's only with me for financial security. I have a solid education, a well-paying job, and my parents are wealthy. My wife hasn't worked for three years. I was also planning on buying a house this year. And yes, I agree. I think my wife did have sex with Chris, and probably other men, before the incident. I'm still at my friend's place. In my mind, this marriage is over, and I'm filing for divorce. I tried to tell her that yesterday over the phone, but she didn't answer my calls for three hours. So I sent her a text before going to bed, telling her that it's probably for the best that we separate and that I want to file for divorce. 
I woke up to an excess of messages. She was angry at me at first, but then shifted to apologizing and wanting to work things out. We agreed to see each other today. Update 2. I just had lunch with my wife and it was blatantly obvious that she was just trying to manipulate me again. She confessed to everything. Her and Chris have been having sex for over a year now. She started crying and saying how it's all her fault and how she wants to get back with me. However, I've had enough of this. I told her that I'm going to file for divorce and left her crying at the restaurant. Meanwhile, I've made arrangements with our family lawyer. I'm staying at my dad's place for a couple of days so things can cool off for a bit. He is very supportive and is actively helping me with the divorce. Down in the comments, Deleted says, When she asked for an open marriage after an 8 month sex drought, yeah, nothing suspicious there at all. What the F? Why would she say it's all her fault? Like, duh. She effed another guy for a year before they agreed to open the marriage. Was she expecting him to be like, no, no, oh, poor you. It's not your fault. Did she seriously expect that to work? My girlfriend, 28 female, wants to break up because I, 30 male, bought the wrong chocolate. Posted by a throwaway account. I know this sounds crazy, but hear me out. My girlfriend and I have been together for almost three years now. Everything is going great and she's the love of my life. But today, something weird happened. I told her I was going to the grocery store to buy some stuff for the next few days. I asked her to send me a list of messenger. We always do this so I don't forget anything important. I asked her multiple times if she needed anything to make sure we had everything at home and didn't have to go grocery shopping again tomorrow. She said she wanted chocolates. Fine, what flavor should I bring? Any flavor is fine, you know what I don't like, so just don't bring that. She sounded annoyed, which confused me, but I thought she was just in a bad mood. I went to the store, got all the stuff on the list, picked up some chocolates, and then headed home. When I got home, she asked where the chocolates were, and when I gave them to her, she exploded at me. I don't like caramel! How could you get such a simple thing wrong? Why did you ask if you didn't even care about the answer? You're driving me crazy! I don't want to be with you anymore! I was flabbergasted. I tried to calm her down and have a conversation, but she stormed out and slammed the door. I want to give her space, but wow, what just happened? I've gotten her chocolate with caramel before, and I don't remember her saying she doesn't like them. Can someone please explain what I did wrong? How should I approach her about this? Should I just let her be upset, or should I go talk to her? Edit. I asked her to write the list because she spends more time at home than I do, so I assume she knows better what we need for the house. Some days I work 12 hour shifts and can't remember everything we need. I don't remember her explicitly saying that she hates caramel, but I'll keep it in mind for next time. No, I didn't buy her a chocolate she hates on purpose. I'm not a passive aggressive person. I do do chores around the house, but because she's working from home most days, she does more of the chores as well. I have to travel to work every day, so we made an agreement about the chores and she was okay with it. Yeah, sometimes I forget things, but it's nothing malicious. I don't think that makes me a horrible boyfriend. I also always ask her if she wants me to get her anything, what she'd like to eat, if she needs anything at all. I care about her a lot. Yes, she's on her period right now. Edit 2. She doesn't do all the housework alone. I do 40% of the chores and she does 60%. I work 10 hour shifts, 6 days a week, while she works 5 hour shifts, 4 days a week. We agreed to split the chores this way and it works for us. I don't remember her saying she hates caramel. She eats Snickers bars with caramel in it, so I thought she'd be okay with it. I know her favorite flowers, perfume, Macca's order, and how to make her favorite smoothies, etc. But running a business can be stressful, and I can't remember everything, so I do forget small things sometimes. She also prefers to do things her own way, so I ask her multiple times about certain things to make sure she's happy. I feel like a lot of people replying to this post are projecting past bad experiences or annoyances onto our relationship. I mean, of course you can't fit an entire relationship history into one Reddit post and strangers won't know our dynamics, but I'm not sure where all this frustration and hostility is coming from. I might have come to the wrong place for advice. Thank you for the level-headed responses. I'll wait for it to calm down and come to me. Hopefully we can talk everything through. Based on what's in the post, I don't think he's actually in the wrong. Like yeah, it sucks if you're really craving something and he got the wrong thing, but it sounds like this isn't a constant thing with him. 
He knows her favorite Macca's order, her favorite flowers and smoothies, etc. It sounds like they split their contribution fairly too. I don't really get all the you're the air responses. Let me know if you disagree, or if I'm missing something. Update. I waited for my girlfriend to calm down and come to me. After a few hours, she did. She was crying and really apologetic. We talked about what happened. She said her PMS made her really upset and her hormones were acting up more than usual this month, making her more irritable. I told her I understood but need some space to think, so I slept in the guest room. I understand that she can't control her PMS symptoms, but I didn't grow up in a house where slamming doors and screaming at each other was a normal thing to do when someone is frustrated. Also, her saying she wanted to break up shouldn't be a heat of the moment thing. Even though most of the comments were attacking me and making all kinds of assumptions, they also made me think about the dynamics in my relationship and the burden I take on myself. I feel like I'm doing way more in the relationship than my girlfriend. I'm carrying most of the weight on my own shoulders. I thought it was normal because I really love her and wanted her to be happy. But now that people pointed out the whole mental load thing and how responsibilities should be shared, I'm starting to think that I might have taken on too much. In a way, this might be the reason why she thinks she can treat me the way she did yesterday. Someone told me in the DMs that there's a fine line between being kind and being a pushover. And I sure as hell don't want to be taken advantage of because of my kindness. I'll talk to her today and see if we can figure out a way to share the responsibilities more evenly at home and in our relationship. I'll also have to lay down more boundaries, which will be hard, but I have to do it. Remember, I post new content every day, so subscribe for more juicy tea.